Some people create their own storms and get mad when it rains. Ain't that the truth? Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash incel tier and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on those notifications. Okie dokie, let's go. Incels? Other men just living their lives? Is this mugging? God, I, jeez. Uh, if you get intimidated by somebody else just for the pure fact that they exist uh that that's a you problem dude like what do you want me to do about it stop existing Eh, not gonna happen incels are the most oppressed individuals to ever exist uh hey dude uh, i hope you brought enough audacity for the rest of the class imagine if life of perpetual insignificance you are shunned by humanity for the crime of existence there is nothing you can do to better your situation women automatically automatically despise you on sight, and men see you as little more than a walking doormat. Oh, you have done nothing to earn these people's hate, yet they continue for all eternity to arbor your existence. I don't know if I said that right, okay? This is the daily life of an incel. There is no hope for such an individual. The incel will go through this life until he inevitably commits unaliving at a Around 30. I thought that was when you become a wizard. Be kind to others. Show empathy. So let me get this straight. Just because nobody wants to get in your pants, it is the exact same thing as like say 1942 Germany or people getting hung up in trees in the 1800s. Yeah, no, it's exactly the same. These would be the type of dudes that exclaim the phrase F me and people not realize that there's a question mark at the end of that. Females are absolute clock sleeves for any male between 5'10 and over 6 feet tall, regardless of personality, so long as he has a decent 7 out of 10 plus face. If a male has height and looks, it's all he needs. On the flip side, if a male is below 5'9 and under 8 out of 10 looks, personality doesn't matter since he won't get any regardless. Seeing women as people who deserve respect for no reason will not not serve you unless you are a male between 5'10 and 6 feet tall. If you don't meet these physical requirements, then you will never be drowning in kitty, so you may as well treat women like ass since it doesn't hurt your chances either way. Um, I do, I'm fairly certain that if somebody comes in and says that I'm a piece of ass, I am not gonna want to sleep with them. Like, this is not rocket science, okay? If personality matters, then why do chads never or unironically use this forum. Like the topic tile rhetorically asks, if personality matters, then why do chads never unironically use this forum? It can't be a coincidence that it's all ugly and average looking men using this forum. Chad doesn't use this forum because he doesn't need a place to vent about his sexual frustrations, since locals help him out if you catch my drift. But honestly, to answer your question, it's because anybody who has a mental capacity higher than that of a wet paper towel and a sack of napkins knows not to use this site. Rage fuel can't even enjoy Facebook memes without seeing some transmission BS. Thank you for people pointing out in the past that that was a slur. I honestly did not know at the time. Thank you. I can't even surf my Facebook meme groups looking for dank content without seeing some BS about dead naming or misgendering or whatever the F it is is, with a bunch of rainbow-haired androgynous science experiments celebrating degeneracy endlessly. Are we the last bastion of sanity on the internet, Goyles? Black in cell claiming they are alone because of looks and women that have never seen them before and have talked to them for two minutes online, disliking them. Yeah, okay, seriously, three things on this. Uh, yeah, you can kinda get a gist for how
how somebody is just by seeing how they talk to other people online. Secondly, I need to really see this fever dream of a movie again. Honestly, I love the Cat in a Hat movie. It was fun. I've seen somebody do a drunk review, and honestly, I'm, I'm, t I'm contemplating getting plastered with the homies and just watching it and doing a, my own version. Sec and thirdly, is that freaking Neville from iCarly? Okay, that's not him, but you can understand why I thought it was him. I don't understand why people change the difficulty setting to a harder one in real life. Like the topic title says, I don't understand why people change the difficulty setting to a harder one in real life. For example, women are on the real life difficulty setting, at least the majority of them, and some even up becoming transvestites or whatever reason, so they go from easy mode to hard mode, and you get dudes that are already on the hard difficulty setting that change the difficulty setting to an even harder mode by becoming transvestites, and you even get chads that switch from easy difficulty to hard mode by becoming a transvestite. I'm a trophy hunter on PSN. And there are trophies on many games for beating a lot of games on the hardest difficulty setting, so playing on hard difficulty setting is understandable when it comes to video games, because you prove your skill and also get a trophy for it, etc. But why change the difficulty setting in real life? I don't understand. Real life is not something you want to make harder for yourself. It's not something that you should F with. I can tell you this right now, the only type of difficulty setting that changes in life is when you become an adult, and it changes when you don't want it to. So as a, seriously, if anything, if life was a video game, the first 18 years is a tutorial that didn't teach you anything about the game, because where in grade school did they teach you how to do your taxes or healthcare, stuff like that? Nope, nothing, not a single place, but you do know what the powerhouse of a cell is, don't ya? A JFL, women that complain about men not knowing their anatomy slash physiology. Nothing annoys me more. These whammon expect you to know every tiny bit of clunk anatomy by heart and with specialist terms, as if any normal s-haver knew it or visited anatomy physiology lesson beforehand. And while they constantly complain about the lacking knowledge of males, they themselves know nothing about a male anatomy anatomy slash physiology. When you say that you go to the gym, they expect you to look like Brad Pitt at minimum physique-wise. While such a body is impossible to achieve without juicing for most men, and would require both physical and mental effort, like motivation, researching diets, and adjusting them for your metabolism, etc. That is nearly impossible when you are in full-time employment, they unironically think that after some half-hearted lifting that everyone can look like a Hollywood star. Also, look at their effing Ds. As if any of them knew what average was to begin with, most Ds start at 20 centimeters, which represents the absolute top percentile of men. And then they always complain about lacking performance, as if a man has a biological machine where absolutely nothing could go wrong in the sense of premature whacking it or a D that doesn't become hard. Water is wet, but still, if men judged women one day as much as they judge men, they would rope. My cousin is nine and she's already a narcy. Think of a rude brat. She's only nine and seeks attention like a grown-up. Floyd. It's all about her, all about giving her attention. She will even talk over someone else because she thinks her child BS is more important than adults talk. Her dad has to do everything for her. She has no pity on him. Once he passed by my house, tired after working, and the mini W, we were taking care of her for a while as her mom was doing something, even made him carry her home on his back. Her 
mom, by the way, is a roasty goblina who only hang with rich white people and thinks she's the same as them by osmosis or something. Really annoying. So let me get this straight. You're upset that your cousin, who is a literal child, is acting like a child doing child things and your parents doing parent things i'm sorry what okay oh that must be heartful for you i swear if only your family could see this oh and by the way way to go calling your nine-year-old cousin a, a w with word and with that that is going to have to be it with the video if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more content like this in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below and if you have not already subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.